Hey, how's it going? Um, alright, so this might be a new video format sort of thing, um, where I am, uh, essentially, this is how I play games recently, I, I've noticed, um, in, in the most recent years, is I'll essentially find a game and play it for like an entire month, and then forget about it for the rest of my life, and then find a new game, and then play it for 30 days straight. And then forget about it for the rest of my life and then find a new game and then play it for 30 days. You know what I mean? Like something will just hook me and I'll just get so obsessed um, with that that one game and I'll just I'll just go crazy about it. Right. For for a whole month. So I thought, OK, so maybe I should make a video series where whatever my current obsession is, I just do a video on it, like set a timer for 20 minutes. I'll do that now um, and just be like talk about the game and if i release one of these like every month it's a good catalog of like what i've played what i've been addicted to what i've been enjoying and just my thoughts just just all over the place so yeah this is just gonna be a 20 minute recording of me just talking about my my current obsession which is Battle Bit Remastered, which is something I did not expect. Like I saw this game and I was like, oh, this looks like a, a, a bit a bit of fun. Um, no pun intended. Or maybe it was. Okay, so let me get into it first because I think the first thing people think of when they think of this new Battle Bit Remastered game um, is that it looks like the Battlefield games, right? I've played the Battlefield games when I was when I was younger, and I probably played them for like a couple of hours, and that was it, and I turned it off. Um, I did enjoy Call of Duty when I was a kid, but now I've, I've suddenly just came full circle and I'm playing a game um, that is based off the, the, those types of games, which I just don't play anymore because I don't find them enjoyable. I, what I want to talk about is comparing this to like a battlefield because those games, I would play them for like two seconds and I would get bored and I'd move on. So why is this game different from like a battlefield game, right? Because the only thing that is different is battle bit looks like a Roblox game, literally it looks like Roblox. If you ever played that game where it's like Game Dev Tycoon, you remember that game where you got a, you've got the sliders and stuff. You know, you can put the you can put loads into graphics, and you can put some into gameplay, and you've got some into story, and you you got the sliders right. In this game, they have gone full gameplay, no graphics, and like no story. You know what I mean? Like the the sliders are very in one area, right? If you can just look past the graphics, this game has so much like detail um, and just. It, it's it's wild the the intricate like little things that have added to this game for example um the magazines in the gun right let's say you've got a magazine of 30 bullets you shoot out 10 and then you reload and then you know you've got 30 back in but that, that magazine still has 20 bullets in right is it just going to magically go into this this new magazine that you just put in that's usually what happens in games but no in this game those t those 20 bullets in that existing magazine go to the back of your ammo pile and eventually once you get back all the way around you've gone back to the mag with 20 bullets in so immediately you have to play the game from a different point of view you can't just shoot and then reload shoot and then reload shoot and then reload every three seconds because your magazines are going to have a weird amount of bullets in and you're going to get really you're going to get caught off you're going to be confused it is just a little thing but the game has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these little details that really just separate this game from, you know, like a, like a Battlefield game or whatever. Um, and let me just go back to graphics as well. Um, I think when you start playing this game, I've got about 50 hours in now. Quite quickly, do you just kind of forget the graphics are bad? You know what I mean? I've not really been a, a dude that cares for graphics anyway. I don't even care about story in game, you know? I've always said if I want a story, I'll, I'll you know, watch a movie, read a book, you know? But if I want, when I play a game, I want gameplay. And that's why this game speaks to me so much, because that's what it is. It's just raw gameplay with an insane amount of detail. And honestly, when you are playing like a Call of Duty or a Battlefield and you're running around, I feel like all the things that are supposed to bring you immersion in that game kind of ruin the immersion and or gameplay. You know, like running around and you've got like lens flare in your face. You've got dirt being kicked up from the floor. You've got rain coming on your lens. Maybe your character's wearing glasses, I guess. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like all of that stuff just being thrown at you. And then you just get sniped from across the map and you're just like, cool. I experienced, 
I, exper I experienced a lot of stuff going on my screen and now I'm overwhelmed. Where this game, it's like bare bones, you know, everyone's running around like a Lego man, you know, someone's on the floor, you know, you can grab their body and pull them in, you know, you've got a medic healing them and you're looking around and because it's like there's not 50,000, you know, polygons and textures on a tree, you can see the sniper that's out there that's like sneaking around and stuff. It's not like they're shining red and it's super obvious to see them, you know, the sniper still has a way to hide. I don't know, there's something about the game looking basic that just highlights the gameplay for me. One of the big draws to this game is that the game has in-game chat. I tried to run like an alligator was chasing me and it didn't work. And for the most part, I've not bumped into any like uh, hackers or anything like that. I, I've seen a couple here and there, but for the most part, you're not really seeing them. I think if this game was free, I would be... I'm, I'm very worried about how the community would feel. Because right now I jump into a game um, and these games are like 100 v 100 matches, right? There's 100 people either side. You're going in and, you know, there's a lot of people and it's just open mic. Like anyone can talk at any time and hundreds of people could be hearing this person on both teams as well. If, you do, if, you, if you're near an enemy and they're talking, you can hear them. Whether they're talking on the radio or if they're talking to the people around them, you can hear them because logically, proximity, you can hear what they're saying. Leave me alone! They're coming no. with us more. No! And I think that's a really good feature. And one of the best features in the game, honestly. But if this game was free, I do worry that people would just load it up and start shouting out insults and being horrible get banned, who cares, it's a free game, make a new account, go back in the game, yell at everyone, get banned, because that's just what people do. But because the game is a price tag, suddenly if someone runs around swearing, that's minus 15 pounds. It adds another layer of protection. But right now when you join a game, it is so fun. You're like, people are like, let's go get them. And then everyone is just like, it's just a bunch of dudes just playing with their army men and just charging in. All right, boys, this is where we make the push. And then when someone gets shot, they're like, ah, oh, I've been shot. Ah, oh, please help me. And you drag them in. Um, and you res them and they're up and they're like, thank you so much. Bro, I appreciate that. I saw, I saw. Thank you so much. Dude. In a game where everyone's literally running around looking like like Roblox Lego characters, people are like getting really into it um, and, and just, it, it's, it's more, it feels so much immersive than any of these games with mega graphics I've ever played, you know? Like, just because the people's approach to it. Uh, and it's so it's so fun and refreshing um and yeah and i think on that note it, it's such a fun game to play with friends as well you can get a, a squad you can get eight people in your team so you go in with your friends you know what shall we do oh let's let's do this oh let, let's do this someone comes up with a cool strategy let's all get in the helicopter let's fly over to f and we're gonna hold f and then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do that and you know everyone's having everyone's playing a different class Someone's playing a medic, someone's playing support, someone's playing sniper, everyone's doing their own thing, and then everyone's trying to work as a team as well, and you know, someone comes up with a cool idea, someone's calling out, oh, there's a guy over there in North, uh, 15, and then someone, oh yeah, I see him, and then they shoot him, they res, oh, it's just like, just the possibilities and the fun, it's just, it's just, playing with a group just amplifies this game so much, and then you throw in the proximity chat and talking to other players and talking to enemies you throw that in and suddenly it's just amplified because you're playing as a, with a squad and then you've got some random dude that comes along and you're talking to him and your friends are talking to him and then he's talking to your friend and then you've made a new friend suddenly and they you know they're just suddenly there with you all right guys i'm gonna try and uh, try and go get a kill right now see how this works all right okay. good luck have fun the game is good the game is good and when we're talking about the details we're talking about the gunplay the buildings, the buildings are destructible. You can, if someone's camping in a building, you can shoot a rocket at the building. You can shoot, you can throw a grenade. You can, a tank can destroy that building apart. And the buildings will literally crumble to the ground. And when they do, they kill everyone inside. I've seen like 20 players get killed because an entire building crumbled down on top of them. And there's just like a million bodies. And it's like, geez. And the vehicles are fantastic. When you've got hundred players, it only takes one of those players with an RPG really to destroy a vehicle. So if a vehicle is running amok and killing loads and loads of players, because vehicles are strong, 
You know, they got big guns on them. They're tanks, right? So they are strong, but it only takes one player with an RPG to really destroy it. So, you know, how strong are they really? I think the progress of the game is really nice. You know, you level up, you get stuff for your character, you can customize your look to an extent. It keeps it quite basic, I think, to keep it military looking. It's not Fortnite where you're running around as Spider-Man or anything. You can change how you look, but it's military theme um, and very minimal. And it does change some of the stats as well. I will say that there are improvements for the game. I think it's a good it's a good thing when you struggle to find things that you can improve on. And I think every single game I've played, even my favorite games of all time, I'm like, yeah, you need to improve on this, you need to improve on that. Um, and if I'm struggling for to, to, to find improvements and stuff, um, I think that's a good sign. So one one bad one bad thing about the game in its current state is if you want to change like your gun, like you want to add a new attachment, you want to add a new thing to it. Um, or anything like that, you have to actively be in a game. So you have to load up into a 100v100 game, and then before even partaking in the match, you have to go scroll into your loadout, go to your guns, and then suddenly you can change your entire loadout. What what grenades do I want to use? What gadget do I want to use? What whatever do I want to use? You have to do all of that in game when you're or when you're in a battle. You don't want to be hearing a war in the background and then be like, one second, guys, I got to change my gun. The fact that you can't do that in just like the main menu is quite weird. And the other complaint I have about the game is clan, the clan system. So far, the clan system has been completely broken. So I think it is just an oversight um, and, and a thing that's been kind of just buggy. Um, so, so, so essentially right now, if you if you're in a clan, you can play with 12 people at once. Whereas in, if you're just in a party, you can play with eight people at once. So if you if you are streaming or you, if you're playing with a large group of friends, you want to be in a clan, you want to have you want to be in a party of 12 people because it's just I get to play with more of my friends that way. Um, so you want to be in a clan. But the problem is you can only be in one clan. So I remember um, my, my, my streamer friend had a, had a clan and I joined their clan to play with them. So I, then I wanted to play with another friend and they had their own clan. So I'm like, OK. I have to leave that clan and join their clan to play with them. You know what I mean? So immediately it's like, if I want to play with a certain group of friends that, you know, are probably playing with eight or more people, I'm going to have to leave that clan, join that clan, and then just constantly do that. And, at the, and the invites to get into these clans, they need to generate an invite code that you can only use once. So every time I have to join, I have to be like, oh, hey, can you give me that invite code? So it's like immediately there's like a, a massive problem. And there's no way to join multiple clans and there's no way to share clans either. There isn't like, you can't have like head honcho clan. You can't have like the Yogscast clan and then the Bleb clan and then the Pedguin clan and then the Ravs clan. You know what I mean? You can only have the, the biggest clan, it feels like. So that's what we've done in our community. We've just deleted all smaller clans and we've just got head honcho clan, right? Because that's essentially what it just became. It was like, oh... And it felt really bad, you know, to go to a smaller community member and be like, hey, you know, your clan, um, you might as well just join ours because ours is bigger. And if we can't join, we can't play with you if you're in your clan. And it, it, it just feels horrible. It feels bu like bullying. And the fact that the game forces you to do that feels like a big oversight. Those are issues. But if these are my issues, they seem like things that are going to get fixed. It feels like the community is probably already complaining about it. I probably don't even need to complain about it myself. And, you know, th there's just so much going on for the game. I just hope the community stays, you know, in the. I hope we're not in the honeymoon phase where everyone's having a good time and, you know, people are like, you know, role playing and, and cheering. And I hope no one get takes the game too seriously. Stuff like that. I just hope this game stays in a in a very nice space where it is where it feels like it is right now and that's what i'm hoping for and we'll see that is um my i i guess we'll have to figure out a title for this video i will figure that out this is my pet talk no that's terrible no 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 write it off write it off thank you very much guys um this this was me talking about uh battle bits remastered which is my current obsession at the moment um, I'll probably forget about this game in a month's time and have a completely new obsession. We'll see if I keep this up. We'll see if we you enjoy the format. We'll see if I enjoy the format. Um, we'll see if this format changes slightly and I can have it in a more logical way, perhaps. 
Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, if you did watch it all the way through, let me know. Give me some feedback. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.